Are you beginning to have doubts about that relationship? Have you been seeing some red flags but don't know at what point to walk away? Would you like to know what to do amid all the confusion and uncertainty? Do you want to know the signs showing it is time to leave that relationship? If yes, then this video is a must watch for you. You will learn from this video the three unmistakable signs that it is time to walk away. Make sure you watch to the end, especially if you are tired of trying to patch things up. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, kindly do so now. Click the notification bell as well, so you will always get instant updates as videos are released on the channel. God has created humans as social beings. No one is created to stay isolated in life. Interacting, relating, engaging, and bonding are the essential needs of man for living, growing, and thriving. So, being in a relationship with other people is a necessity that cannot be avoided. However, whatever relationship you find yourself in, whether family, friendship, marital, or work-related, should groom you and make you a better person and not otherwise. You should not condone any relationship that is becoming toxic for your well-being and your growth, especially when it is a romantic relationship. When you notice these three signs in that relationship, it is an unmistakable indication that it is time to walk away. Amos 3, 3 says, Do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so. One of the unmistakable signs that it is time to walk away is when you always have constant disagreement and strife. The best place you can be is a place that aligns with your visions, dreams, and prospects. When that is in question, then your continuity there is not wise. When your vision is not aligned, you will always fight and disagree about everything. It does not make you a bad person, nor does it make the other person a bad person. It is just a clear indication that you two cannot walk together, and you should walk away from such. Sometimes, you might struggle with the fact that you both share a mutual love, and as a result, you cannot close your eyes against the relationship and walk away. You are trying to maintain what you share with that person, but you keep getting frustrated. You will realize that your growth has become stunted, and you can no longer make progress with your life. This is because you are spending your energy in the wrong place. You are diverting all the energy that you need for growth and increase on explaining yourself and your actions and arguing about what is not. Why are you wasting your time? Is the sign not clear enough that you should walk away? Understandably, you have invested your time and your life into this relationship. You might be worrying that things cannot be better if you leave. You are having the fear of starting all over again. You are not sure whether you will be fine without this person. But hey, you need to know that there is more to you than this. The earlier you realize that you do not do destiny emotionally, the better. You need to stay up and act wise. Do not allow your emotions to cloud your sense of reasoning and judgment. Take the reins over your life now by walking away. When you walk away, you will discover the treasure that you are and blossom in your blessing. Abraham was moving together with Lot, his brother. They both had possessions, and they have been coming together a long way. But it got to a point in time when Abraham had to make a decision that would save both of them from further complications. What decision did Abraham take? And what prompted such a decision? You will find the storyline in Genesis 13. Here are a few verses to glean from. Genesis 13, 6, 9 says, But the land could not support them while they stayed together, for their possessions were so great that they were not able to stay together. And quarreling arose between Abram's herders and Lot's. So Abram said to Lot, Let's not have any quarreling between you and me, or between your herders and mine, for we are close relatives. Is not the whole land before you? Let's part company. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. This was a relationship between brothers who have always been together. But when the quarreling between both parties became incessant, Abraham knew that it was time for both of them to part ways. 
He was wise enough not to allow sentiments and emotions to hinder him from deciding to walk away from Lot. He didn't walk away from Lot because Lot was a bad person. He was only wise enough to know his vision should not be frustrated because he was trying to put up with a good person. From the succeeding verses, you will realize that it was after Abraham left Lot that God gave him further instructions concerning his life. You should learn from Abraham. Walk away from that relationship now before it breaks you. When you walk away, you are not just helping yourself, but you are also helping the other person. Don't stay there thinking that the quarrels and arguments will end soon or buy into the general saying that all relationships have problems. It will never end because it springs from the root of a disagreed vision. And you can never tell. That might be why you are no longer hearing God's voice and leading concerning your life because you are walking with the wrong person. Bad and corrupt influence is another unmistakable sign you should watch out for. The values and attributes of the person you move with rub off on you. You are a product of who you see, listen to, talk to, and stay close to. When you are in a relationship that is gradually bringing a bad influence on you, then this is a sign that it's time to walk away. Do not wait until it drains you of all your good virtues before you walk away. You should not endure corruption. You should run away from it. And how best can you run away from corruption than to walk away from corruptive tendencies, especially when it comes from someone close to you? 1 Corinthians 15, 33 says, Do not be misled, bad company corrupts good character. This verse clearly indicates that choosing to stay or endure bad company is embracing corruption. No matter how good you are or how sound your character is, enduring bad company will corrupt you. So, the moment you realize that your companion is breeding bad influence, it is an unmistakable sign that it's time to walk away. Joseph was a man who was well treated by his master. As the chief slave in Portiphar's house, he had everything working for him, and he enjoyed the luxury of his position. But there was a problem, Portiphar's wife was a bad influence. She made wrong advances at Joseph, but Joseph chose to endure it. Joseph probably thought that there would be no issue as long as he continually rejected her advances. But a day came when Portiphar's wife went all the way to corrupt Joseph. She would force Joseph to sleep with her. That was when he realized that fleeing was the best thing to do. That decision saved his destiny. Are you like Joseph? Do you choose to stay in that relationship because you still enjoy some benefits and luxury? Are you ignoring and condoning that bad and corrupt influence from that relationship because it is still serving your interests in some way? Remember what 1 Corinthians 15 says, don't be deceived. If you continue in that relationship, it will corrupt you and ultimately destroy your destiny. You should walk away now before you get trapped. The book of 2 Samuel captures the story of Amnon. Amnon was the first son of King David, and he had the prospect of becoming a great man in Israel even if he did not succeed David as king. However, his life was cut short because he was in a relationship with a friend who influenced him in a bad way. His friend advised him to rape his sister, and instead of distancing himself from this friend, he embraced him and took his advice. This led to an enmity between him and Absalom, his brother. Eventually, Amnon was killed by Absalom because he raped Tamar. Yours might have a different storyline. But in whatever shade it comes, one thing is sure about bad influence. It corrupts and destroys. That is why God was particular about the kind of people the children of Israel would marry. He told them expressly not to marry a set of people because they served idols and strange gods. And he knew that should the children of Israel marry into those tribes, they would be wrongly influenced to become idolaters. Psalms 1, 1 2 says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. This scripture shows you will be blessed if you do not move with people with bad influence. On the contrary, you will be cursed if you move with people who have been influenced badly. 
And one of the ways to know that someone is a bad influence is that such a person will make you compromise in your relationship with God. Any relationship that makes you slack with God is a bad influence, and you should walk away from same. Anyone who makes you dwindle in your commitment to God is a bad influence. Usually, that is where it starts. That relationship makes you stop delighting in the law of the Lord, and then it gradually introduces you to corrupt practices. You should be wise enough to recognize these signs early enough and walk away so that your story will not end up like that of Anon. You should imitate Joseph by walking away from that bad influence before it destroys you. Another unmistakable sign that tells you it is time to walk away is when you find that you are no longer valued in that relationship. Someone who values you will honor you, respect you, and do everything necessary to promote your happiness and well-being. Someone who values you will seek to make you better in all endeavors. The Bible says that where the treasure of a man is, there will his heart be also. When someone values you, they will treat you as a treasure that should be kept, preserved, invested in, handled with care, loved, and cared for. On the other hand, if you are treated with disrespect, disdain, dishonor, or like you are just one out of many options, then you are not valued in such a relationship. When you continue in a relationship where you are not valued, you will become an object of ridicule and abuse, and you will become dull. You are worth more than that. You should not ignore the sign. You should walk away now. You are God's royal diadem. You are the apple of God's eyes. You are the one accepted in the beloved, and you are a treasure. Do not allow anyone to treat you as less. You are meant to be appreciated and not managed. Your relationship is meant to sharpen you and not make you dull. And someone who does not value you will not pay the price to do everything that can help sharpen you. The Bible says that a man sharpens the countenance of his friend just the way iron sharpens iron. Are you getting dull by the day because you are not finding joy in that relationship? Now is the time to walk away. How you know that a person values you is that such will invest in your growth. But since you have been in that relationship, your growth has been on a radical decline. But you are staying because you think your love for the person comes first. In case you are yet to realize it, you come first. Your well-being comes first. Your soundness comes first. Your peace of mind comes first. You can only love properly when you are in good shape, body, soul, and spirit. Continuing with someone who does not value you and what you represent will only hinder your growth and not promote it. God's desire for you is that you prosper in all things, even as your soul prospers. And that includes your relationship. But you cannot prosper in a relationship where you are not valued. So, walking away is the best thing to do. May, relationship that values you will make sacrifices for you. Jesus Christ should ordinarily not die for an ungodly generation, yet he sacrificed his life for Mankind because mankind was valuable to him. Don't let anyone make you feel like you are not worth their sacrifice. Anyone who cannot make sacrifices for you does not value you and is not worthy of you. It is time to walk away from that relationship now. It is not enough that someone says to you, I love you. Love is in action and not just in words. When you notice that that person only cares about what to benefit and how to benefit from you and does not make any effort to reciprocate, you should know that such a person does not consider you as someone worth investing in. Such a person will only stick around you as long as there is something to get from you. You should not give anyone that much access to your life. Call it quits now. When someone values you, such will be careful not to hurt you or your feelings. But doing otherwise consistently only shows how much you are disregarded. What affects your heart affects your life. The Bible says you should guide your heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. When you stay in a relationship where you are not valued, your heart will be exposed to hurts and disappointments, which will greatly affect other areas of your life. This is because your heart is the gateway to your life. 
do all that is necessary to protect it, even if it implies walking away from a relationship that does not value you. Many more signs tell you it is time to walk away from that relationship, but when you notice these three signs, disagreement of vision and goals, bad slash corrupt influence, and not being valued, they are signs that cannot be mistaken. They are telling you that it is time you walk away from that unproductive, ungodly, and abusive relationship. Walk away from it now so that you can walk into your blessing. Let us pray. Father, I thank you because you want the best for me. I have learned so in your word today. Thank you for sending this word to me at this moment in my life. I do have doubts in my heart, but I do not know whether leaving this toxic relationship was the best thing to do. However, today, as I have heard your word, I have come to know that you want me to walk away. I know now because these signs are evident in my relationship, but I have ignored them all along, instead of ignoring them. I should have known that they were indications that it was time for me to walk away from this relationship. However, Lord, I must confess that my emotions have been getting in the way. So, I come before you today to ask for your grace and strength to do what is right. Help me, Lord, to bear the rule over my emotions. I want to walk away without feeling low. Help me to cut clean from every emotional attachment that has held me bound all this while. I have been hurt badly, Lord. I ask that you heal my heart from every hurt, pain, and bitterness that I have suffered in this relationship. Give me a new heart and pour your love into me so that I will be able to relate with others in love and not in bitterness and hurt. Dear Lord, I ask that you help me regain my strength and confidence. The experiences I have had so far have drained me of strength and are making me have low self-esteem. I am no longer sure about myself and my dreams and prospects. But Lord, I know with you I can become confident again, so I come to you for help. As I walk away from this relationship now, give me the strength to continue my life's journey and let your spirit lead me to greener pastures. Give me the grace to become more steadfast in my walk with you. Help me to know your will for me in every aspect of my life, including my choice of relationship. Henceforth, help me make wise decisions. Thank you for hearing me, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. If this video has blessed you, kindly subscribe, like, and share. God bless you.